Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the collective. So, whoever resonates with this climate, if you don't resonate with it, do not force fit. There is sick, thick, dense energy on YouTube. It's a worldwide platform. So sharing is caring. Speaking of worldwide, whoever you are, wherever you are on this whole entire planet, shout out to you. We see you. We acknowledge you. We are grateful for your presence. So, thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us. And whether or not anybody else has told you this, Delilah Tiberius and I love you. So, there's that. Now, let's hit this. Clearing ground. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning. There is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective. Collective. There is no gender in tarot. There's masculine and feminine energy. We are working with energy. Anybody can be resonating in either or at any time. It's my job to read you the energy. It's your job to apply it only if it applies and only for your higher good. There's no tarot, tarot tactics here, okay? Show me the energy. All right, we're trying to help people. Here we go. Show me. There goes Delilah. Yeah, Delilah, you want to turn around, honey? Hold on, let me fix a little. She likes to hide her face, guys. Sorry. Okay, there you go. See, she's good now. Okay, where's Delilah? One more. <laughs> Delilah's gone. Pick a boo. Here we go. <clears throat> Show me. Show me. Okay, thank you. Gee whiz. Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay. Wow, that's good. Okay, listen. Whoever I'm talking to, for whatever reason in your life, and believe me when I tell you it's going to be different for everybody, you decided to move on to karma waters, meaning that you decided to leave all the baggage, bullshit, burdens, drama, drama starters, or whatever the hell, aggravation, ajara, behind you, okay? Now, whether you actually physically picked up and moved, maybe some of you did to get away from people, places, and things, okay? But either way, it's about leaving toxicity, aggravation, and ajara behind you. Now, because of this... You had to be in the Nine of Swords upright first, right? Not being able to sleep, anxiety, negativity, breaking down, perhaps mental illness. I don't know. Now you're finding help with these issues. You're learning how to cope with these issues. You are coming to a place of recovery and, and acceptance. Acceptance is always the biggest thing because once you accept something, you know, it's easy after that. Believe me when I tell you, it's all downhill. Once you accept something for the facts, just the facts, burn me with the truth, don't shoot me with the lie. It's all downhill. So... This is really good. Moving over to common waters and gaining our mental facilities because of it. Right, guys? Yes, yes, yes. Show me. Show me what else. I like that. So, so far, let me see. Three, six. We needed three. We'll give you the, uh, we'll give you three, six, nine. Frequency, energy, frequency, and vibration, right? Let's see. Show me. Show me. Come on, give me the cards. Damn it. This is a brand new deck. I just opened it. Okay, we're going to take them. So here you go. You got a queen of swords. So, uh, so obviously somebody became very clear thinking. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Probably single, you know, maybe divorced. Doesn't have to be. But somebody who's very fair, balanced, disciplined, perceptive, independent, objective, smart, articulate. Okay? There was some kind of surprise, shock, something you didn't see coming. Or depending where you are on this timeline, if you're even resonating. Okay? Scorpio energy. Just something surprising and shocking. Could have had something to do with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but most likely Leo, because King of Wands in this establishment is always a Leo, all right? But, you know, it could have been anything. Um, sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, like I tell you all the time. So you got Scorpio here now. We also got uh, Gemini for the Magician down here, okay? This is current energy. Somebody's mouth... Um, Somebody's, <laughs> somebody's manifesting, okay? They're creating, they're being resourceful. This is the Magi, this is the Alchemist, okay? Somebody's putting the work in and doing this, whatever it is, okay? It's gonna be different for everybody. Somebody, yeah, okay. So here you go, you got the Seven of Wands. Maybe there's a lot of competition. Maybe you're standing your ground and being, you know, protective of yourself or whatever it is you're manifesting here. And maybe, well, you should be, right? Seven of Wands, it seems like you have a lot of um, competition, but you're, you know, you're persevering. I tell you what, sitting there, you're not letting it bother you. Some of you might do yoga. Absolutely. Okay, right in the center of the spread, we have a Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Charismatic, brave, very uh, adventurous, 
The Knight of Wands is somebody who's charming and rebellious. This is a hero. You know when you need a hero? Okay, I'm getting wild stallions. Um, I'm hearing Mick Jagger and uh, wild horses. But it's not like in a romantic sense. Like, I'm, yeah. So something about wild stallions. That's what you like. You like a wild stallion right now. Whoever I'm talking to. You're just living in the moment. You're carefree. You're brave. You're enjoying your life. You're not, you know... You got the idea that the only moment that counts is the one you're in. This is good. Now you got this new opportunity for emotions here. It looks like love's coming in for some of you. Oh, boy. Could be with a king of wands. Uh, this could be a shock. Maybe a Scorpio. Maybe a Gemini. Let's see. What are we doing here? Ah, okay. So there's going to be some kind of a truth that's going to come out. Okay, this is a conquest. These are the facts. I tell you all the time with the Ace of Swords, right? A breakthrough, a vision, a force, a focus. Something that's going to make you have a conquest. This could be with somebody from your past that sees you as an empress. Nice. Okay, so people, places, and things of the past. This could go as far back as childhood. This could also be having memories and being nostalgic. But I have the feeling that somebody from the past is going to come and tell you that they have some kind of idea of a relationship that they may want to investigate with you because they see you as an empress now obviously some of you could be birthing babies but you could be also birthing anything from you know an idea to a new business to anything something could be going worldwide around the web here maybe you're doing some kind of an online platform thing all right whatever you touch turns to gold here you have dignity you have self-respect you know your worth you know what you bring to the table and you are not about to settle for anything less so you know Maybe you're in this energy, and a king, okay, but, I mean, you're an empress. Don't don't go down to, <laughs> yeah, knights or pages. Anyway, somebody from your past is going to come tell you the truth. It's going to be some kind of a new emotional awakening. In the meantime, I believe you're over here manifesting. But enjoying, you know, enjoying yourself. Being like a renegade, I can tell you that. Wild stallions and the renegade. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> That's what I'm going to name this video. Wild stallions and the renegade. So we have some kind of a shock and surprise. Something also, too, like I said, you could be, um, something about the internet, maybe taking off on the internet, or something like this. Somebody's got brown hair. Somebody likes to wear feathers in their hair. Somebody wears a plaid t-shirt here, a plaid shirt, a plaid flannel shirt. It looks like blue, blue and red, perhaps orange, or somebody has a golden retriever. Look at this. Look at this. The Ten of Cups. That's it. I'm hearing the wedding bells. Listen, emotional satisfaction, domestic harmony, emotional fulfillment. You and somebody else on the same page, it's a Ten of Cups. What do I need to tell you about a Ten of Cups? Everybody knows what a Ten of Cups is. All right, it's fulfillment. It's alignment. It's uh, harmony. This is beautiful. So look where this is starting, and look where it's ending up. You're starting at an ace, and the truth shall set you free. The truth shall set you free. So here comes the Knight of Pentacles. Now listen, here's the problem with the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night. If this person went any slower, they'd be moving freaking backwards. If you wait for this one, you could get coochie cobwebs, right? <laughs> like, really. It's slow moving, but the thing about it is that uh, slow and steady wins the race. It's methodical. This person, or this energy, excuse me, that goes to the nose, yeah, puts in um, the work and the effort, okay? They're committed, dedicated, and focused, and reliable, hardworking, uh, Goal-oriented, routine-oriented, and, you know, this field here represents you. If this is you embarking on some kind of financial situation, maybe a new job or a new financial endeavor, maybe that you're manifesting here, maybe in some kind of competitive field. Let's just turn this to uh, finances for a minute because, yeah, what's love got to do with it? Here we go. Um, you know, it's building up slow. You will be the king of pentacles one day, okay? You definitely will. It's just you're starting here at the, you know, well, you really started at the page, but you're up to night status already. So you're, on, you're moving on up here. Now, as far as love, by moving away from whatever made that Nine of Swords upright and using clear thinking, whatever shock this was about some kind of, probably somebody, Leo, whatever, that's in the past. Here's you manifesting and you're definitely, definitely standing your ground, being, per, you know, persevering and defending yourself. You're not even looking at what other people are doing. You're focused on yourself here. Look, this person's doing, this person's in the temple of themselves. It wouldn't matter if they were 75 once coming at this person. You understand that she's protected. So, you know, it's a very, it's a spiritual feeling I'm getting like, you know, like you know that your aura and your energy protected. You're just concentrating on what you're doing. You're persevering, you're defending yourself, and you could get less what anybody else is doing here. And you're being happy. Here comes this emotional warfare. You got two aces in a row. I mean, what's better than that? From somebody from your past that sees you as the empress because you see yourself as the empress, whoever I'm talking to. So now you got the ten of cups. Just over here, we got this slow moving, you know, energy. So, but you know what? Somebody's trying to, we'll be careful. What the hell did this take a turn here? Now we got a seven of swords. Somebody here 
is nefarious. Now, that level of nefariousness could differentiate, you know, on many different ways here. It could be something as just being very um, strategic or sneaky or perhaps, you know, maybe scheming a little or trying to trick somebody. It could be something as bad as, you know, robbery and, you know, yeah. It could be anything, lying, cheating, stealing. I'm seeing attempted murder here. I mean, black crows could be of significance. I'm seeing oranges again. Oranges. Somebody eating oranges. Somebody just bought new flat sandals, like summer sandals. I'm seeing black with beads on them. Okay, let's see what else we have. So, what's the final outcome of this? So, you have Gemini, you have Taurus, you have Scorpio. It's the most predominant. Here, here we go. So, Hermit, Virgo Energy. Maybe some of you need to take a time out. Spend some time in solitude. You know, do some soul searching. Do some self-reflection. Do some, you know, follow your inner guidance. Ascend spiritually. The hermit is, you know, usually, look at this. This depiction of the hermit here. This person has done so much work and has become so spiritually enlightened that they have their own inner light that they're shining. They don't need the lantern anymore. The lantern's down here lighting the way, paving the way for other people. So perhaps some of you have done so much work and you've had so much experience in your life that you are now able to pave the way for other people with your own inner light. And you can leave the lantern down there to guide the way, right? Absolutely. I'm hearing, I'm hearing Led Zeppelin, Stairway to Heaven. I'm hearing Spying a Stairway to Heaven. Yeah, so. Tell me. Lighting the way up to Spirit and the Ethers. Like, yeah, let me see what's going on here. Come on, give it to me. <clears throat> it's really beautiful. Just be careful here, you know, like, whatever this is. Make sure you're staying on the level with whatever you're doing. And, um, you know, what goes around, comes around is what I have to say about that. So make sure you're following your own inner guidance here. Okay, well, here it comes. This is going to be some kind of breakthrough. And there's a Knight of Cups coming in. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy. Some of you might get like a note or a letter or an email or a text. You want to go out maybe for some wine, a picnic. Again, I'm seeing horses, stallions. I'm hearing wild, wild stallion, wild stallion. Some kind of breakthrough. Emerald green has something to do with something over here. Because look at all this emerald green. So, you know, there could be finances. Some of you might get roses. Some of you, uh, somebody's got uh, sleeves or tattoos. I'm pulling a little bit more. Something you don't know. Something you don't see. Be careful of that with the seven of swords, okay? Cancer and Pisces energy. Things going on under the surface. I'm seeing a, uh, a white dog. A big white dog. Anything else? Anything else? Cancer and Pisces, Virgo now. Here we go. I think that's it, guys. Oh, okay. Goal, focus, overcoming any obstacles. Get to it, the chariot. All right. So there could be a Cancer here. Maybe somebody's got a goal and a focus and you're it. You know, maybe you have some kind of goal and focus. Uh, this does not really feel like a financial read, people. But if it is, you know, if an instance that you are here, maybe this, you know. Oh, look, you got the, oh, my own. It's not a financial read. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. Am I kidding? All right, so the lovers. <coughs> Gemini energy. Some kind of choice that has to be made. Some kind of um, soulmate. Looks like they're coming in. Looks like they're coming right in for you. Look, you're going to have to make a decision. And again, with the wild stallions. You two might be a little different. Uh, I'll give it to you. Like, you might, maybe, maybe there's um, an ethnic dish, uh, difference or an age difference or something like this, okay? Could be something significant. Maybe a, some kind of religious difference. I don't know what it is, but it's not going to make a difference. It's really not. Um, there's a Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, some kind of wish coming true. That's really good, guys. All right, let's get you a couple of these and we'll get you going. By the way, guys, thank you so much. Please and thank you. Could you hit that like and subscribe? It's really, really important. We're very, very grateful. And uh, yeah, it's fun. It's free. It's entertainment purposes only. And you feel really good when you do it, I promise. You know, it's something nice. It does. It goes around, comes around. I'm telling you, we're all one, right? Here we go. What you do to another person, you do to yourself. So I wish I could take back my words. Somebody wishes that they could have, would have kept their freaking mouth shut. That's what somebody wishes. I don't react when people mention you. Yeah. Because they're busy sitting in regret that they wish they could have took their words back. Whoever that was. Sounds like somebody from your past spirit says, I wish I could share my good news with you. Well, you can't. <laughs> I mean, that's it. Right? I don't, you know. Yeah. They can't. You're not interested anyway, right? 
because you're concentrating on what you're manifesting over here. Look out, look at your minds and your own business. You can get less what's going on out in the world there. Some of you, like I said, like to do yoga. Show me. I'm seeing little black and white fish, like little black and white fish in a fish tank. I don't know what they are. Maybe angel fish? I don't know, but little. I know I messed up everything. Well, yeah, if you're over there backstabbing, talking about me, and, uh, wow, what's the matter with this person? Doesn't take a brain scientist to figure out, you know, a brain surgeon. Show me. What is he talking about, people? Here we go. All right, so here you go. I know that I crossed the line with you. Wow, somebody really messed up big time over here, okay? I'm telling you, whoever this is. Anything else with this, or we're going to be done? This is it. Romance angels. I mean, those aren't romance angels. What are these? Hidden truths. So many cards around here. Here we go. I feel you even though we are apart. Okay, so yeah. Obviously, that's with somebody that's not with somebody here that did something for Gazy and then backstabbed them and messed up everything and now it has regret. So leave them sitting where they, you know, leave them where you found them. I look for you everywhere. Yeah, somebody thinks they left when they saw you with someone. And somebody thinks that you're going to be together again. But, you know, that's contingent upon how. Yeah, let's get you a couple of these. Let's see if we can get something other than vowels, guys, all right? Stupid letters. It's ridiculous. Here we go. All right. So we have an S and a T. Two S's. Okay. A K. A W. An A. Two I's. Three, three freaking I's. Do you believe this? Three, three I's and three S's. And a Z and an A. There you go. Those are, your, those are your things. What is this one? An E. A-E-I. That's what you have. There they are, guys. S-S-S-T-E-K-W-Z-A-E-I-I-I. -E -I -I -I. All right, guys. Thank you. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light.